today I want to talk about remembrance, remembering. And uh, I want to tell you two stories about remembering. And before I tell you the stories, I want to read you something from... How's it everyone? Hope you're doing well today. Um, so, yeah, I'm switching over to English again today because I I have a story. I have two stories to, to share with you and I want to do it in English because then more people can see it. More people will be able to understand. Like, I understand that my Afrikaans viewers understand English, but not necessarily all my English viewers understand Afrikaans. So I'm doing this video in English. And uh, yeah, so today I want to talk about remembrance, remembering. And uh, I want to tell you two stories about remembering. And before I tell you the stories, I want to read you something from 1 Samuel. And we are looking just at a short piece, a short text on David. And I want to read you this first part. It says, David said to Saul, don't let anyone be discouraged by him. Your servant will go and fight this Philistine. But Saul replied, You can't go fight this Philistine. You're just a youth, and he's been a warrior since he was young. David answered Saul, Your servant has been tending his father's sheep. Whenever a lion or a bear came and carried off a lamb from the flock, I went after it, struck it down, and rescued the lamb from its mouth. If it reared up against me, I would grab it by its fur, strike it down, and kill it. Your servant has killed lions and bears. This uncircumcised Philistine will be no different, for he has defied the armies of the living God. Then David said, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and may the Lord be with you. So the reason, the reason why I'm, I'm reading you this scripture is because the Lord has been talking about, talking to me about remembering, about remembrance. And if you look at this piece, David goes to Saul before he fights Goliath. He goes to Saul and what, what he does there before Saul or in front of Saul is he remembers what God has done in his life. And before I continue... I want to tell you the stories. So the first story kicks off when I was around 19 years old. I was playing rugby uh, at, at Tux at University of Pretoria. And uh, on the weekends and Sundays that I went, wasn't practicing, I was helping out, out my mom. My mom had a deli type bakery type shop uh, here in our area. And I would go and, you know, be a cashier at the shop and be a shop attendant, you know, help, help out. My mom would go and do stuff and I would sit there for a couple of hours while she was out running errands and one particular day I was there and I was sitting in that shop and needless to say I had little to no money and I had to I had to do something I had to pay something I can't exactly remember what it was my mom got back to the shop and I as I left I went to the ATM which was in the same uh, you know same building as as her shop and I went to the ATM and I was standing there and I was like, I, I, I was thinking to myself like, how, how am I going to get enough money? I've got like a hundred rand or something in my account. How am I going to get enough money to pay this thing, whatever it was, I can't remember. And I was standing there and I was like praying and I was asking God, like Lord, just, just provide for me in this situation if it's your will and I remember there was someone in front of me I was standing in the queue a couple of people in front of me when it was my turn I walked to the ATM and I stood there I put in my card and the, the machine wouldn't take my card and I was like <laughs> you know when it rains it pours and I read the message on the screen and it said uh, please take your cash I was like obviously this thing is bugged and I turned around and I looked around and I was like try it one more time it's still the same thing and eventually I, I looked down and I saw there was like a wad of cash still in the ATM and I was like oh my word and I took out the money 
and I was looking for the, the person who was in front of me. I remembered it was, it was a woman and I walked around the, the shops and I looked for her, I couldn't find her. And eventually I just went back to my mom's shop and I told her, this is what happened. I'm gonna leave the money here and if the lady comes, maybe asks for it, then you can give it to her. And I got in my car and I went home and I never, I never withdrew any cash, but I went home and I remember, like I felt in my spirit, that money is for you. And later that afternoon, my mom came home and she said, no one came to claim the money, so this is yours. And I was like, geez, that is insane. I was literally standing in the queue and asking God to provide for me in this situation and he did. He used someone else and uh, I, I like to think that that person didn't forget that money. They, they left it there intentionally because no one ever came back and asked for the money. That's just just amazing story but the second one is even more incredible. I was a little older and I was working as a rugby coach for um, this program uh, that taught uh, children from four to nine or four to eight years old you know taught them basic rugby skills and I was earning like I think I was I started earning when I started working there I started with a salary of like a thousand five hundred rand or something this was close to December and I had no money and I just started dating my now wife you and a and um and we had this plan that we would go to her grandfather's farm for Christmas with her family and then after that we wanted to go on a holiday. <laughs> again I remember not having any money and I just asked again I just told God like just please allow me to go to take my girlfriend then on this on this holiday. Later that day I got a deposit into my account for, I think it was around 7,000 Rand or something, which back then to me earning 1,500 Rand a month was like, you know, quadruple my salary. And it's just incredible. And I went to my dad and I told him, like, look at this, someone deposited 7,500 Rand into my account and we couldn't find out where it came from. And eventually, I, re I recognized the name on the, the notification, on the bank notification, and it was my dad's friend who was a broker, a financial broker back then, and he handled all our policies. And my dad phoned up the guy the next day and he told him like, listen, um, Robbie, this is what happened. Seven and a half thousand Rand was paid into Adrian's account from your firm, um, so, just what what you know what was it for why was it a mistake or whatever and um, a week later he phoned us back and he said they can't find the reason for the payment and they can't see that the money is out of their account so you can keep the money <laughs> yeah it's, it's incredible just retelling the story these stories two stories just is just encouraging to me because I am in a place where I am constantly asking God like please provide for me in this situation please provide for us this month I, I don't know how we're gonna get through I don't know how we're gonna pay I don't know how we're gonna do this or that or the next thing and God just continues to come through now that being said there are areas in my life where I'm still lacking and financial areas also but yesterday I was sitting in church God just told me, remember, just remember what I've done for you in the past. Just remember all the times that I came through. Just remember all the times that I, that I, that I pull you through, that I carry you through the hard times, whether it be financial or emotional or physical, whatever it is. Just remember that I am with you. I'm always there, that I always look after you. And that you can always, at a certain point, look back on that thing that you couldn't handle in that moment. And you can smile about it because you know that I carried you through it. So I want, you, want to encourage you guys to remember what God has done for you. Just remember. And whatever it is that you're going through, the hard times, the tough times, the 
emotional baggage, whatever it is, God has got you. He says that we have to put our burdens on Him and put on His yoke because His burden is light and His yoke is easy. He says that. Why don't we do that? Why do we tend to hold on to the things that hurt us, that weigh us down? When God says, don't worry about tomorrow, I've got you. I will provide for you. If I provide for the swallows, for the the birds of the sky, how much more won't I provide for you? Aren't you much more meaningful than they? That's Jesus' words. And I want want to encourage you today. Remember what God has done for you. He has got you. He will get you through this. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to be sad. As soon as that sadness or fear comes in, renounce it, repent from it, give it to God. Unload that burden, give it to Him. He says that I will carry your burdens. And in fact, Jesus has carried our burdens. He's carried it to the cross. So may this be an encouragement to you because you are so worth so much to God. So much that He already carried your burdens. He already carried your sins. He already set you free. Jesus took it all on Him. You are free. You are provided for. You are seen. You are loved. You are cared for. You have a purpose and a plan. Do not forget that. God is in control. And He loves you. And He has a way for you. Something that I need to be reminded of every single day. Please understand, I'm not preaching. But Jesus loves you. He cares for you. He has a way for you and He has a path for you and He has provision for you and He has a plan for you and He has a purpose for you and He has a relationship for you. Step into that with Him and remember, as soon as that giant stands in front of you, remember what God has done for you. Remember all the giants He's slain in your past. Remember all the times that He's carried you and I hope this was an encouragement to you. This small thought this thought was a massive encouragement to me yesterday and today and just sharing and reliving the stories is an encouragement to me because i can remember that god has pulled me through in the past and he will do it again in his good timing anyway thank you for tuning in i hope you like this video if you did please leave a like a comment or subscribe if you feel led to do that we appreciate every single piece of support that we get And we hope to see you in the next video. So, cheers guys.